What's up everybody, it's Black Horse, and this is game two of this little series against Blade Runner. Um, it's on Solar Array, and since I lost War Bandit, I picked up Vanguard Champ. And we played, I guess, three more, two more games after this? I don't know, but... Anyways, this is the score right now is one to one. We tied on Fuel Core. So I'm gonna get my lurker out immediately. This is this 2v2, I'm just gonna hide up on top of the switch. And this is a really short switch, so after I get one to two shots, I'm just gonna drop down and jump on him. And we actually pick him up. So you see at the beginning we had the slight noob advantage, but now they picked up a 33, so, or a 30, so hopefully that will keep it even. So Vanguard's going to spit her up top, so I'm just going to keep working the lurker to keep all the pressure off of him. Um, here I make a little bit of a mistake. I kind of go for this guy in the back when I should have went for Blade Runner since Blade Runner ran for the switch. So I made Vanguard have to be in an awkward situation to kill Blade Runner, but he kills him. So now it's just cleaning up. We did split up their spawns, so. That'll slow him down in a couple of seconds. I'm gonna be sure to try to get jump as fast as I can to hopefully take off a health pack. But I think I actually end up dropping one here. Yeah, I dropped one. So. We're just trying to take out 160 as quickly as we can. Um, yeah, we do that here, so once you take out 160, it's pretty much just how long you can keep the 60 alive to split up their spawns. There's nothing really they're going to do with just 160 against your two. And the problem they're having right now is they're not taking out that spitter, which is really hurting them. Cause he's just let, they're just letting Vanguard slowly take off their help. So here I make that same mistake I made earlier, and I try to. Go for 160. That makes Blade Runner able to get on the switch with only that one spitter. And so I can't spawn back fast enough to stop him from getting the switch, so he'll get it as soon as I get down there. So since Vanguard's still in there cleaning him up. They haven't even grabbed the switch yet, so I'm gonna choose a spitter. I'm gonna go ground spitter here. Which I really like going ground spitter. It used to be on the same level with the humans. It shows like how much skill you have if you can stay alive. Plus I like being able to grab, so makes it a lot easier. You see here they split up, so that's going to cost him.
So here I knew I was gonna die. Um, but I'm just trying to get in front of them because if you just stand in front of them, they have to kill you. They have to stay you and they have to stop moving. So that just slows them down a couple of seconds, and that way I can just wait for my next necromorph. And I didn't miss my jump, but they didn't have enough time anyways. So you see Vanguard is six and zero. It beats me by like twelve points, but. I was the one getting my hands dirty. So, I think there's a spitter up there, so we're just gonna make sure there's no lurkers hanging around. I give this new about three seconds and I leave him alone. Go for the next switch. And one thing that helped us against this bitter um defense that they didn't do but we did is we didn't spend much time attacking where they were. We just went up the stairs through one or two grenades and then went under them and behind them. You wanted to attack them from the switch side, not the stair side. Makes it a lot easier. So here I get healed about like, I think like five times. And that's one. And I think a new kills me. Makes it two. And I heal again, three. Time for yeah, I think that was my last heal though. So I got healed four times there, which was nice. See our new just shooting Vanguard in the back. So you see here they lost their second player, Blade lost his teammate, I'm not sure if he quit out or if he lost connection, but we never see or hear from him after that. So... Which I didn't even notice that he lost his teammate until after we get these switches. But we get these really easily. <laughs> Our noob got the far switch. So, I assume he's gonna spawn on this side as a spitter, so I just keep him in his spawn. But after this game, we get a 3v3 going. Um, we play on escape. I think we played two matches after that. I'll have to look, but we have some really good games going on. But anyways, I guess this will make the score 3 to 1. And we'll just walk it in to end it. Anyway, so... Post game stats are coming up after this, and thanks for watching.
Mission successful. Returning to base. That sucker is history now.